Hi, and welcome to this introductory video. In this video, we'll get you familiar with our core features, UI and navigation, and our test creation wizard. We've been developing Zeus for over six years, and it comes packed with an extensive list of features. From management of manual and automated tests, to pre-build actions to help you create complex tests for web, mobile, desktop, API, cloud apps, or any combination of these. You'll also find it easy to manage thousands of tests, generate various reports, and have detailed visibility into test coverage. Zeus comes with powerful debugging tools, and it can integrate with your favorite CI-CD tools. Last but not least, it can also act as a project management platform, and it allows you to manage product roadmaps, bugs, feature requirements, and as you can imagine, tie it back to testing. With all of these features, things can get pretty complex, so we pay a lot of attention to usability. We're always trying to improve, so please share your thoughts and ideas on our forums. But right now, we'll focus on the UI and test automation, so let's get started! As soon as you log into Zeus, you will land on the dashboard. It's divided into three sections. At the top, you'll find our Help section. From there, you can launch our test creation wizard, see the introductory video, or download Zeus Node, a powerful on-premises text execution tool that can be scaled to multiple VMs and works together with the Zeus server. In the middle, you'll see high-level reports. Right now, there isn't much content as you're just getting started. At the bottom, various charts give you a more detailed visibility into your software testing progress. The charts are interactive, so you can drill down and get very granular. Let's look at our menu. The Zeus logo will always take you back to the dashboard. This video will mainly focus on the testing section as project and quick actions are covered in other videos. If you're an enterprise customer, you might see some additional main navigational items. To the right of your screen, you will find three important sections. By tapping on your profile name, you can log out of the system, change your details, and switch between projects and teams. Right now, you'll have access to one project and one team, but if you are an enterprise customer, you can have multiple projects and each can have one or many teams. The Help section provides links to documentation, videos, and forums. Let's take a look at some of the content there. In the Help Docs, you can select a specific feature and get additional details. Here is an example of a cheat sheet for sequential actions. The globe notifications icon gives you access to notifications pertaining to your project. For example, if someone on your team commented on a bug, created a ticket, or you're in the middle of testing, you'll find it there. We use this feature a lot when collaborating with larger teams. Let's explore the testing section in more detail. Under Run, you can manage and create new plans, sets, and most importantly, run your tests. Under Test Case, you're able to quickly create and edit test cases and very efficiently manage and find a specific test case. The Batch Update is an extremely powerful Zeus feature. Using it, one of our customers was able to update close to 4,000s of automated tests in just two days. We have a dedicated video explaining how to use it. Under Reports, you can create and run various high-level and detailed reports. If you chose to manage manual tests with us, Zeus, with the power of AI, we'll be able to recommend which tests can be automated. Since you're new to Zeus, most of these sections are empty, but we invite you to explore each, create as many manual and automated tests as possible, and get to know Zeus. Let's go back to the dashboard and create a web and API test, and then compare the results. For our first test case, we will use Google Maps to find the time it takes to go from point A to point B, 
and then compare it to the Google API. Ideally, the duration should be the same and the test would pass, but we're going to change things on purpose to show you how the test comparison will fail. All right, time to finish with this introduction and get you going. In the dashboard, launch the guided tour to create your first test case. Have fun testing, and don't forget to post your questions on our forums and check out some of the other more advanced videos. Thanks for watching!